trip, I want to also talk to you guys about something really, really cool. <laughs> video day guys so I'm re-filming this intro because when I did my intro I told you guys products that I was going to be trying on my face that I ended up adding so many more products so I'm gonna be trying a bunch of new makeup in this video I'm gonna be trying a, a lot of stuff so I'm gonna be trying out skincare I'm gonna be trying out the new makeup geek eyeshadows a few products from Sigma Beauty one from Juvia's place we've got a lot of stuff in here so we're gonna try on everything together I'm also gonna be talking to you guys about some news that I have about my channel that I'm kind of excited to share and also to get you guys' opinions and I'll talk to you guys a little bit about my trip to Utah and how it went so let's get into all of that right now but before we do that hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already because if you do not you may never see me again and that's just the way YouTube works and also if you turn on the notification bell then you will actually know if my video uploads because that's another way YouTube works so I know wouldn't you think just like hitting the subscribe button would mean that you kind of want to know when those videos are posted but they don't so let's go ahead and let's get right into this video right now and three two one I will have no makeup on I just got this yesterday in the mail. This is from good molecules. This is from good molecules This is the caffeine energizing hydrogel eye patches. I am dying to try this looks very similar to me Actually, I'll put them on right now because honestly might as well leave these things on for a little bit because my eyes are like ugh. Um, <laughs> these remind me a lot of the pixie ones. Do you guys remember the pixie ones? But it almost looks like it has a lot more like serum in it. And actually Good Molecules sent me a message on Instagram saying that they are high in serum and they really are. Look how cool these are. I love these. Oh God. So they're really, really, really liquidy. And you're just supposed to like put them, ooh, that feels really nice, underneath your eyes. Skincare and getting ready with me. Look at that, all in one. So we're going to put this on, leave it on for a little while. So you get 60 of these, and that's like 30 times you can use it. And they're formulated to firm, energize, and hydrate the under eyes. Love it. These are definitely super serum-y. Like, I feel this serum everywhere. So we're going to be trying this on, <laughs> as you guys can see on my face. We're going to look a little silly for a while. So we're going to talk about the trip that I just finished coming back from. And then I'm also going to talk to you guys about my channel and about something that I kind of want to do. And I kind of already said it on Instagram. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I have this cute little page on Instagram that I'm constantly updating. And I would love for you guys to jump over and follow me on it because look, I put a lot of pictures on Insta stories. I did kind of like say this already. So I want to kind of like say it here. So we're going to talk about all of that and yeah, we're going to get into everything. So uh, let's go ahead, wait 10 minutes, take these things off. Let's start getting my face done and we'll get back to it right now. That actually does feel super refreshing. I have to say it actually feels really good. So good molecules does send me PR. They've actually been a brand that have been pretty damn good with me. And I have to say, it's pretty cool. They, you know, I'm not the biggest channel and they send me PR consistently, which is really nice I mean I think that my under eyes looks pretty good what do you guys think I mean I think so I think they look pretty good they kind of remind me of the pixie ones which I really like the pixie ones I actually have them here on my counter but they're a little bit more liquidy they have more liquid in them so so I also have this product I forgot I want to try this too so this is from Sigma they sent me over this and this is supposed to be like a airbrush foundation brush. This is supposed to give you that airbrushed foundation look. So let's try that out, Sigma. We're going to see how I like it. Let's just put a little bit of the Tatcha Silk Canvas on just in a few different areas. Like you guys know, I don't put primer everywhere. I, I don't know. I just don't think I really need that much primer. I just put it in certain spots, usually around my nose. This is where I get the most um, pores and it kind of does fill in. Let's try this little guy out. So does this have like an actual name? It's called the 3D HD Kabuki from Sigma. So we're gonna go ahead and try it with my Sashado foundation. Love, love, love that foundation. You guys know, I actually wear it in Bamboo, favorite foundation to date. And let's see. The shape makes it easy to kind of like cut the corners cause it's kind of edge to it that works really good. So I like that. And coverage looks really good. So as I blend this on my face, which I kind of like this brush so far, I'm going to talk to you guys first about my trip really quick. So as I blend this on my face, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about my trip. So if you guys know, I just got back from Park City, Utah, and oh, 
it was so much fun guys like honestly it was a really really fun trip i am going to be posting a vlog um i'm not the best vlogger so it's not like you will hear me talking too much about the trip but i have a lot of really cool footage that you guys will see all the places we went and i came i put together like a really cute little video so i will be posting that soon just keep in mind i'm not a vlogger <laughs> I was super paranoid about taking my daughter skiing for the first time, even when I was on the plane. Even when I was there, I was like, ah. Like, as the days got closer to the day that we were gonna take her skiing, I was like, oh. But I will tell you guys, honestly, the skiing part wasn't really that bad. It really wasn't. Um, she enjoyed it, and we actually got this thing called a wedgies. This thing up here. That thing was like a lifesaver. I put that at the edge of her, um, of her skis and it kind of like holds the front together so her feet weren't like opening all the time so she actually had a really enjoyable time my husband chased her up and down the bunny slope and it was really really cool and she really really enjoyed it i think the most paranoia stuff that i had with the trip was a the flight because of this virus going around so i was like oh no you know paranoid even though i'm in the united states but i still am paranoid because i think everybody right now is like very cautious when you're, when you're traveling with a toddler, anything that's happening freaks you out, you know? So I was very cautious about that. I had my wipes. I cleaned everything down everywhere I went. Ooh, I really like the edge. This actually makes full face application easy. I didn't know, I don't know if it's supposed to be for this, but if you guys are interested in this brush, just so you know, I do have a discount code with Sigma Glam Ranch. And if you put that when you're checking out, you do get a percentage off and I do make some money. So if you guys want to do that, that would be great. If you guys are even thinking of buying this, that's only if you're thinking of buying it. So the trip was really really fun really fun you guys will see that in the vlog how much fun we had and she really really enjoyed it like I said she's only three so it was a little bit of a learning curve traveling with a three-year-old especially since I you know don't have any other kids so it was like oh, everything was brand new but I actually had a really good time she had a really good time Park City Utah is one of the most beautiful places it's just gorgeous like it's so pretty we stayed in a ski resort called the Sundial Lodge and it was perfect. Like everything was in walking distance. It was a ski in, ski out. We didn't have to walk around with our skis everywhere. Let me do my eyebrows and keep on talking because I can't do this. All right, eyebrows, done, yay. That was the best resort. Like it was so easy access, great for if you have kids. It had a market so that you can go shopping. It had ski in, ski out. It had activities to do. I loved it. I thought it was such a cute, fun place. It had shopping, which I love, hot chocolate. You didn't have to go up the mountain if you didn't want to. You could just stay on the bottom, like shop and stuff. It had restaurants and it had like just everything that you would need that you didn't even have to leave the resort area if you didn't want to. But if you wanted to, there was even more stuff to do. So I loved it. I had a great time. My husband had a great time. My daughter had a great time. So you're gonna see a lot more of the trip when I post my vlog because I'm gonna be showing you guys a lot of stuff. I did wanna tell you guys that because I did come back. I showed you guys a few videos and never talked about the trip yet. So I wanted to tell you guys it was really, really fun. And I'm gonna use this other new brush. This is from Sigma. This is the F. 10. They also sent me this just recently and this is a blush brush and honestly guys I don't have a good blush brush so I'm excited. Is this good? A little bit softer than I like for a blush brush. I don't know why I like them a little bit stiffer. Feels good on the face. At least it feels really good on the face so that's a positive sign. So now that I've done mostly my face and talked to you guys about my trip I want to also talk to you guys about something really really cool. So if you guys started off this channel with me, you guys know I used to have a blog called The Glam Ranch, and I used to actually tell you guys, welcome to The Glam Ranch. Everything here was gonna be about The Glam Ranch because that was my blog. Then when I started to notice that my channel was growing so much, I decided to kind of stop doing the blog because it just wasn't the thing that was getting the most attention, the channel was. So I kind of like slowed down in the blog and I kind of put it aside. And I was going to kind of stop the blog and then I don't know, the other day I was just thinking that I wanted to add more content just in general. And I wanted to add fashion and I wanted to add mommy stuff and I wanted to add all of these different elements. And I was like, well, I can't really do that on YouTube because YouTube is kind of centralized. Like I can't just be like one day talking to you guys about mommy stuff because there's gonna be a lot of you guys are gonna be like, I don't really care about that. So that's why I said, you know what? The blog needs to come back and I wanna focus it on just like a lifestyle like blog that includes fashion, includes makeup, includes mommy stuff, trips. I just wanted to 
to be like an everything lifestyle blog. And that's why I relaunched the Glam Ranch. So if you guys haven't done so, jump over here jump over to this blog. It's called theglamranch.com and it's going to be my new revamped The Glam Ranch. I'm gonna be sharing content on here that probably will not even be on YouTube. Let's jump into some makeup geek stuff though while I keep talking because we don't want this video to be 500 years long, right? Let's jump into this beautiful color right here. I'm gonna list all these colors. This one's called Tuscan Sun. But let's start with Tuscan Sun and I'm just gonna put this all the way up close to my eyebrow. Guys, like the Glam Ranch was an idea that I had a long time ago. I always wanted to have a blog, but I was so scared of having a blog. Like I honestly used to see people that had blogs that when blogs started and I wanted one. I wanted one so bad, but I was like, I can't do a blog. Why would I do a blog? People aren't gonna wanna read my blog. I don't even like to write. <laughs> and blogs used to be about like writing articles. I think it was like very like um, heavy on grammar. <laughs> blogs are not just like a book, you know, anymore. It's more of you can tell stories through photographs with some context, but it doesn't have to be all full context. And before, I used to think that a blog was kind of like a newspaper or an article from Cosmopolitan that you would actually have to like write a full article. And I was like, I can't do that. I'm not like the best with grammar. I don't know if you guys have noticed already. I don't speak even that perfectly. <laughs> so when it comes to grammar, I'm not really that great. Um, I am bilingual, so I kind of mix things together. And in Miami where I live, People don't talk that great. I'm so sorry, but we just don't. But one day I finally got over that and I said, I'm gonna do it. Yes, I'm doing it. And I'm gonna jump into this color right here. And this one here is called Bitten. I'm gonna put Bitten all over the lid. So I finally gave up and said, I'm gonna do this. This is something I wanna do. And that's right around the time that I um, started the YouTube channel. I actually started with the blog first and I really enjoyed doing the blog, but then I started getting into YouTube and then I enjoyed YouTube more. But there's things about YouTube that I don't like, which is that, you know, you have to like kind of stick to your little niche. You kind of have to. Even though I love makeup and I think you guys can tell how much I love makeup, I also have a lot of other passions and a lot of other things that I wanna talk about, you know? So the blog is gonna be able to give me that freedom to speak about anything that I want, even like stuff about being a mom because guys, being a mom is hard and being a first time mom is super hard. So I wanted to include some context there about that. And I think that'll be a really fun place for me to put like a bunch of different articles. So if you guys are excited about that, I wanna hear down below. Tell me what kind of things you're excited to see on the blog because that's gonna be really fun. Now let's segue into YouTube. So YouTube for me has always been about the makeup. If you guys know since the beginning of the channel, this channel was started as a beauty channel. I never really wanted to do anything else but beauty videos. And like you guys know, I did start doing a little bit more review context. I've tried, I've dabbled in a few different things. But the conclusion has been lately, and I think you guys have known, that one of the things I like about YouTube the most is helping people and coming up with ways to help you guys either A, not spend that much money, or B, decide before you purchase things, or show you guys ways to wear things. Like I have just, to me, my favorite videos have been the ones that when at the end of the day, the person writes to me and says, oh my goodness, you helped me so much. Those have been the videos that I have liked the most. Obviously, I love like makeup on the red carpet and talking about celebrity looks and what the celebrities wore on their face. But even like those kind of videos, I feel like I'm kind of helping because a lot of times people don't know what celebrities wore and they want to know like, what was that lip color that JLo wore that night? Cause I really want to know cause it's so pretty. I have always enjoyed helping. So that segue into, there has been other things that I wanted to include on the channel and I'm going to start to dabble a little bit in fashion related context on my YouTube channel. Like that does not mean at all that beauty is going to come second. That just means that I wanna add a little bit more fashion context because you know, makeup is super important. I love makeup and I personally am somebody who thinks that you need to have some type of makeup on your face when you're like going out or something just cause it has, it adds that little, Umph to your face. I'm gonna jump into this color right down here, which is called Cheetah Bear. 
you need to have something. Like that's just my opinion. I love the way makeup looks and makes me feel, but fashion is also something that's very important to me and that I've always loved since I was little. And I feel like a full face of makeup needs to have a nice outfit. So I kind of wanna dabble a little bit more into fashion related context, kind of helping you guys gauge like what's in, what's gonna be in. I kind of do this already with Trend Finder for makeup but I wanna do it for fashion. But I don't wanna go like high-end fashion. I wanna find like cheaper options that'll still make you look super in, but you don't have to go out and purchase like super expensive stuff, but you're still gonna look super fashionable, super on point, and that's kind of like the idea that I wanna go with some additional fashion context on my channel. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this one. This is called Illuminati, and it has like a green shift to it, but it's so pretty, and I kinda wanna dab it on my eyes. So I want to see what you guys think of that. I've been wanting to do this for a while and I think I was just kind of waiting to see. So I had different types of people watching the channel so that I can kind of just really get an idea of what people want. And I really feel like I could probably add some pretty cool context when it came to fashion. And I wanna know what you guys think, are you guys would you guys like for me to start doing that? Is that something that you're interested in? I would like to kind of play with the idea a little bit, you know, and maybe do a few fashion related videos, but um, I wanna know from you guys, what do you guys think? Let me finish up these eyes, but so far guys, these shadows have been performing so good. I know I haven't really been talking, but I haven't been having a problem. I know I haven't told you guys anything about the shadows, but I have not had any problem with these shadows. They are performing so good, like honestly, I like them a lot. Like they are blending very evenly. The color payoff is pretty damn spectacular. I'm honestly loving these shadows, guys. They're really, really good. Very, very smooth and yummy and creamy. And I love the fact that um, Makeup Geek is doing singles because I feel like people are getting tired of palettes. Like, I don't know, that's just my opinion. I think that palettes are fun, but once you start owning too many of them, you just wanna buy a few like extra colors, but you don't wanna have like every palette in the world because it gets tiring. And I'm, I don't know, I'm tired. I don't know about you guys, but I get tired of it because I have so many palettes. And even though I love them, I just feel like I wish I had had like a bunch of singles and I could just create palettes. And I love that Makeup Geek is doing that. And I did apply to the Makeup Geek PR. If you guys, I think I told you guys that already. Cause I really, really, really think that what they're doing is fantastic. And now after trying these shadows, they're good. Like I would, I want more. <laughs> All right, so I just put a little bit of liner, but like eyeshadow liner with the Tasha Denona palette on my top of my lids and mascara from Too Faced. And I love, 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 love these eyeshadows, guys. Like honestly, I really do. So I've only tried a few of them, but I can tell they're great. I cannot wait to use more of them. Last thing I'm gonna try is this from Juvia's Place. Oh my God, guys, I've tried so many different things in this video, but let's try this one. Okay, so this is the highlighter from them that looks like this. Woo, that looks pretty. So this is the highlighter in, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if this has a color. But I did buy this last year, so <laughs> gotta start using it. Let's see, ooh, 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 I see pretty. Okay guys, this is pretty. Oh, I like that. Do you guys see how pretty this is? Ooh. Let me, well, oh, be careful with your nose. Be careful. All right, Rudolph, let's calm down there. Oh. So yeah, this is definitely a super vibrant highlighter, but it looks so pretty. And I don't see too much glitter, to be honest. Let me see if I could see it in a better mirror. No, I don't see glitter. I do think that because it's so high shine, if you have a lot of texture, it will accentuate a little bit, but that looks really pretty. I like this highlighter. Ooh, gosh, I had good luck. Yay, I had good luck. You know how sometimes I do these first impressions and I'm like, ah, this was actually really good. Streak going, let's try one more item from Sigma. Why not? Have it sitting here right in front of me, why not? I've actually never tried a Sigma liquid lip, so why don't we try one? This lip color here called Belladonna and the color is very pretty it feels a little dry I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this formula to be honest I don't know my lips are a little bit on the dry side since I got back from Utah so I don't know how much I'm gonna love this maybe I mean 
It definitely went on really, really even, so that's a plus, but it feels like kind of dry. So I guess I'm gonna have to try this liquid lip out a few more times, but right now I'm like, uh, not sure. But yeah, there we go. That is the final face of makeup. And I tried on a bunch of really good things. So I really like a lot of the stuff that I tried on. Let me know down below what you guys thought, but I think I did pretty good. And most importantly, what do you guys think of me adding a little bit of fashion to the loop? It's not gonna be like every week or anything like that. At least I don't think so. But I wanna just add a little, little fun little videos here and there. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited about that? Leave me your comments down below. Tell me what type of videos you'd wanna see too. And I'm excited. I think it should be fun and adding a little bit more, I don't know, something different. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me and trying brand new makeup. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.